Two breakthrough gene therapies are offering new hope for people who suffer from sickle cell disease. The FDA approved the new treatments last week. Now, some health care providers are calling them a functional cure for many patients. ABC News medical correspondent Dr. Darian Sutton is here with more on that. Dr. Sutton, can you start by just explaining first what sickle cell disease is and how it impacts a person's life? Sure. So sickle cell disease is the most common inherited blood disorder that exists, predominantly within African Americans and those within Af with African ancestry. What happens with this disease is that normally we produce round cells that are red blood cells, carry oxygen to our body and deliver oxygen to our organs. In sickle cell disease, these cells are hard, sticky, and misshapen. That causes an increased risk of blood clots and damage to organs such as your eyes and your brain. And the average lifespan of someone suffering and living with sickle cell disease is approximately 52 years old. So this new therapy provides a new opportunity for patients of those of the severest forms of this illness to not only get treatment, but also the possibility of a cure, eliminating the complications and then possibly even extending life, uh, life expectancies. That cure part is so huge, isn't it? Sickle cell affects approximately 100,000 Americans. But as you said, a uh, predominantly African Americans yes. and Hispanic Americans. Why is that? Well, there, there is an interesting evolutionarily uh, perspective when you look at sickle cell disease. Uh, those who are afflicted with sickle cell disease or sickle cell trait are protected from malaria, which predominantly affects those who live within sub-Saharan Africa and, and areas within Africa. And so that gene trait persists through populations, and that extends to today. So that's one of the reasons why we see this common popular, uh, this common disease among African Americans. But also, in the past two decades, we haven't seen advanced in terms of treatment, which is another problem with sickle cell disease, but another reason why this new form of treatment is incredible. So what do we know about these two new treatments and this gene editing technique? So these two new treatments both include gene editing, but one of them, Cascavy, has this new form of CRISPR gene therapy. Essentially, stem cells are taken from those who are living with sickle cell disease. They are taken to a lab where they are edited to not produce or no longer produce sickle cells. And then they are given back to the patient, where that patient will hopefully produce non-sickled cells for the rest of their life, eliminating the complications. But that does not come without work. Uh, this requires months of preparation, usually chemotherapy to help eliminate the uh, malfunctioning cells, and also a hospital course and a hospital stay. But I've been able to interview those who have undergone this treatment and have been functionally cured, and they both responded with they would do it all over again. Huge breakthrough. All right. ABC News medical correspondent Dr. Darian Sutton. Dr. Sutton, thanks. Of course. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.